So Jerome, the purpose of insurance is to help people in a moment of crisis and for life and health protection, it's to help people and families recover from a very difficult time. But after two decades, almost two decades of working in the industry, I've come to realize that the life and health protection products we offer are simply not reaching everybody who could benefit from them. In fact, it's the most vulnerable members of society that the industry really struggles to reach and remain underserved, and that's a lost potential for growth. Yeah, no, definitely, and uh, the life and health inclusion rate was a super important research uh, report for us and highlighting that we need to have solutions to a pressing problem. I mean, we all know COVID-19, it, uh, it showed that the risk uh, protection is not here, it's, it's reality. And uh, if everybody thinks NADCAT uh, protection gap is a problem, I mean, look at mortality and health protection gap. It's, it's a multiple of NADCAT problem. Actually, eight, we estimate 80%, 80% of the insurance protection gaps for the key perils, which are NADCAT, mortality and health, is coming from mortality and, uh, and, and health. And uh, there are a lot of barriers uh, which, uh, which, which we highlight that we need uh, to overcome so that we can really narrow uh, the protection gaps. The mortality resilience indexes from indices from the Swiss Re Institute are very useful to highlight the size of protection gaps, particularly for mortality. Uh, but what we realized is we need to go beyond measuring the size of those protection gaps. We need to understand the reasons why they exist. And that's really what inspired the Life and Health Insurance Inclusion Radar. We selected 16 markets to focus on. Five of those are advanced markets and 11 are emerging markets. Together, those 16 markets comprise about half of global life premium volumes. So it's a significant sample. And we decided to study some market dynamics or market drivers of inclusion in those 16 markets around three dimensions of inclusion. Those dimensions are the availability, accessibility and affordability of life and health protection. So we looked at various data points such as the extent to which innovation is focused on underserved communities. Uh, the extent to which people have access to bank accounts and credit, and the degree of socioeconomic well-being within those 16 markets. The main finding from the Life and Health Insurance Inclusion Radar is that none of the markets we studied are fully inclusive, and that's a, a key insight to take away for the industry. The good news, though, is that the radar helps to highlight where those markets are weak and it provides inspiration from other markets that are stronger for how insurers and reinsurance, reinsurers can address those challenges to inclusion. And I think also if you look at it at the, at the bigger uh, context, how the global economy is doing, fact is the global economy is extremely fragile today and we all know inflation is a problem, it will remain a problem according to our uh, research and our uh, forecast, which I think makes the solution front, that you, which you just highlighted, Melissa, uh, to work on uh, solutions which are affordable, which are accessible, also in advanced uh, uh, markets uh, that we also have the products that serve the, the underserved community, the low income household, because inflation, in my view, it doesn't go away quickly, which may, means solutions on the life and health front is even more important today than it was before. If you really go down to a micro level, one life insurance policy provides financial security for a family that's extremely valuable. But if you look at a more macro level, uh, driving inclusive insurance helps to build stronger communities and ultimately more sustainable, more resilient society overall. So I really believe that if the insurance industry focuses on inclusion, looks at opportunities to invest in customer-focused research, innovation, distribution partnerships, and dialogue with regulators around inclusivity, it's an opportunity for the industry to turn the underserved communities of today into a positive growth story for tomorrow. I think we really have this golden opportunity um, to act now, today, and together.